Ladies of Reddit, besides your crazy ex, what's the one object you regret putting up your vagina? My little sister when she was young, maybe 6 give or take, one day came and asked me and mom what would happen if she put a button up there. When we asked her why she was asking at first she said just wanted to know and we told her that she could hurt herself and we'd have no so we could help, etc. She said okay and walked away. About 2 seconds later she come running back in in tears and tells us she had put a big metal coat button in there. It was kinda funny up until that point. We ended up having to take her to the hospital and she had to be sedated to get it out. At that point I felt really bad because she was so little and so scared. The doctor had to use a speculum and tweezers to get it out. She's lucky she didn't end up needing surgery. But I have a hard enough time going to a regular gyno appointment as an adult. I couldn't imagine how she must have felt at 6. The first sentence got me concerned. My husband bought a warming lube for me after we had a baby. Had no idea it was a warming one. It felt like my vagina was on fire. I started screaming and he ran straight to the fridge. My vagina was partly saved from discomfort by a pack of frozen berries and careful washing. Amazing that a pack of frozen berries is the runner up here. My sister's vibrator. I was a dumb, frisky 15 year old and I was too embarrassed to buy one for myself so when I found my sister's I decided to give it a go. About a month later my sis found out she had HPV so I panicked that I had gotten it from the toy. I told my mom what I had done and she told me I would be okay. Just don't use anyone else's vibrator again. As a young teenager, I once tried to put a small bit of THC infused topical pain reliever in my vag. Thinking it might get me high cause you know, mucous membranes and that crap. It did not work and it burned like heck. I still feel stupid thinking about it today. More recently, my husband's fingers after cutting gelepinous. Misery. They now just put THC into lube for exactly that purpose. Available in states that you can sell weed in. The ex and I go about having sex like we normally do. Until I notice that my crotch is numb. Completely. Totally numb. Why would my crotch be numb? You might ask. Because he decided chloroseptic would make him last longer and failed to mention it to me. It took about 4 hours to get feeling back. He was a special creature. In his defense. Just kidding. There is no defense. We are just plain dumb and impulsive sometimes. Though the chloroseptic idea is especially special. During an inexplicable bout of me competing winning some speed trials a while back. I bought some KY duration spray. It smelled and numbed like the chloroseptic but tasted like death. I'm curious if he somehow got the idea from that. Cheap lube. Ribbed condoms. Fire and ice condoms. I'm not a fan of anything my abjin shoves up there either. Vagina tongs. Anyone? Vagina tongs simply suck. I usually don't plan anything after an abjin appointment. Because I get major cramping afterwards. The very first time my current boyfriend fingered me, we had been cutting up veggies and barbecuing them a few hours before. One of these veggies was a pepper that he sampled while cutting it and immediately regretted it as his mouth was on fire for like 5 minutes. Hours later, things were getting a little heated. Now, he had washed his hands several times at this point so neither of us were suspecting of anything going wrong. After a few seconds, I noticed things were a bit more tingly than normal, and then it started to burn. I had him stop and then after a delayed reaction it really started to burn so I spent the next 5 minutes hopping naked around my bathroom pressing a baby wipe to my vagina that did absolutely nothing to calm the fire in my pee. He mentioned that the mouthwash had helped calm the burning in his mouth, and suggested I try it. Now, putting mouthwash in my vagina sounded like a really bad idea so I declined but thought maybe it was the alcohol that helped. So, against my better judgement and knowing that alcohol burns, I poured a little bit onto a tissue to see if it helped. Nope now my delicate flower felt like it had been pepper sprayed, and I continued my agonized hot vagina dance with renewed vigor. Eventually the burning subsided and we laughed about it but I am never allowing him to cut hot peppers again if we have sexy times planned for later. TLDR. Vagina and capsaicin equals bad. Do not attempt to wash out with alcohol. Wash using milk or lemon juice or both. Still hurts a little though. Source. I cook and I wear contact lenses.
Not me but, once some friends and I were messing around and looked up pineapple on Pornhub, we found a video where a lady was sticking a whole entire pineapple up her vagina. Traumatizing experience. Wait until you find the one that's a cactus. My cousin put one of my marbles up there and it got stuck so I had to help her get it out. It was 2 in the morning and I ended up throwing away all my marbles that night. And that's how grandma lost all her marbles. My fingers tbh. When my husband and I were first dating we were both virgins. And for some reason it was really hard for me to lose my virginity. I have absolutely no problem having sex now. But the first 5 times we tried to have sex I would have to back out because it started hurting too badly. My friend suggested that I try to use my fingers and manually work it open for a little bit every day. It hurt so bad and felt so uncomfortable that I hated it. I ended up just saying frick it and going all in the next time we tried. The next few times hurt a little. Then it was fine. I read all the time that it shouldn't hurt. But literally nothing else is wrong with my vagina and it never happened again after my initial tries. So I have no idea why I was different. Some women are born without that opening being fully formed. My daughter was that way. Doctor spotted it when she was a newborn and RX'd some topical estrogen cream to help it along. That said, breaking the hymen can often be painful and bloody. First time experiences aren't always the best. The condom didn't fit right on my boyfriend, much to his embarrassment, and when he pulled out the condom was gone. My vag had literally swallowed it up. It took three fingers for him to get it out. Amazing sex though. Not gonna lie, as a guy, that has happened to me on a couple occasions, including my very first time. I was so scared that she would get pregnant. You just decide to keep going at it after you see him and it slides right off. Well this is a bit of an embarrassing one, was playing PS4 and discovered that there was a nod for Fallout 4 for infinite ammo and I had a minigun. So at first it was just on the outside then I went for one of the grips. I regret it not because it got stuck but because now my girlfriend, caught me doing it, won't let me live it down. Sorry I can't understand some key words here, Eli 5 please. A tampon when I was 12 years old, my mom was. She has since gone through menopause, a militant tampon user and when I first got my period she bought me these big bulky pads which I hated, and she kept pressuring me to use tampons so I eventually gave in. Mom told me I shouldn't feel anything and that it'd be easy to remove. Well, after some pain and struggle I did manage to get it in and I felt it the whole time it was in there. When it came time to take it out I literally couldn't get it to come out. I had to call my mom into the bathroom and she yanked it out and it hurt like a bee. I have since found out I have vaginismus which makes a lot of sense in hindsight. I kind of want to know what vaginismus is, but I don't think I'll like it. Diet type products. They never went into the vagina, but I deeply regret using them in adjacent areas. Also, I thought I'd try spray deodorant instead of the basic suave solid I used to prevent chafing between my thighs. This was a mistake. Oh god Naya. I gave myself a chemical burn on my hoo and I tossed that crap in the trash and haven't looked bad. In a pleasure pack of condoms there were varying different kinds like ribbed, extra lubed, etc. There was a warming one that me and my husband almost instantly regretted. Actually had capsaicin listed as an ingredient. Never again. Tried the warming one too when we ran out of our regular ribbed ones. Neither of us finished that day. Tried a carrot once as a joke with an old boyfriend. It was so cold, they had been in the fridge. I barely got it in a couple inches but somehow I swear I gave my vagina, cervix, and uterus all a brain freeze and never thought they'd feel normal again. Do not recommend. Guy here. I put frozen grapes in my girl's vagina. It was fun to eat her out and eat the grapes as they came out. Well one didn't come out and took like 20 minutes of fingering to finally find it. She never let me put anything frozen in her again. Colder had raisins. I once bought a cheap dildo off Amazon. Had a reaction to the material and had to go to the hospital because my hands, face, and cause all swelled up and burned. Oh, and one time a toothbrush case that broke off inside. You learned some hard lessons. 
when I was a dumb and frisky 13 year old and I though it would be a good idea to put my fingers up my vagina after using peppermint body lotion. I have never hated my life more than in that moment. A tampon. It hurt like heck so I read that they must go in further, so I did and then it nearly got eaten. Barely pulled it out. I've given birth twice and not putting in a tampon deep enough still hurts like a bee. My crazy ex had the brilliant idea that putting peppermint oil on his dong would feel good for both of us. You know, because of the cooling sensation. The absolute horror on both our faces when that pain started to kick in. Oh god it was so bad. My brother told me a story about a girl who was known around his school as that girl. Apparently the story was that she used a beer bottle to masturbate one night and created a suction on the bottle which caused it to get stuck up there. She called her boyfriend at the time to come over and help. They ended up having to use a hammer to break the bottom of the bottle to release the suction. After they had a bad breakup, he started telling people. That's how the story got out. Remember kids, always use the bottom of the bottle up. LOL I just had an image of a woman trying to shove an entire person up their vagina pop into my head. I needed that laugh thanks OP. Wait till you find out how babies are born. When I was younger and I heard that you could practice with tampons, I didn't think it meant while you were on your period so I used one. Fully dry. OMG getting it out was scary but and awful and I really thought I was going to need help. Medic here. Had an 72 year old woman try to spice up her love life with some extra kink. Well she forgot about the 8 frogs she shoved up her vagina. They all died out and rotted causing her to get really sick. The physician found the frogs after an extensive medical exam. She's lucky she didn't croak. Okay this is embarrassing but a small weed pipe when I stayed in a shelter because I was paranoid I would get it taken it away. They were doing a search of our rooms. This was before it was legal. Definitely any kind of warming or ribbed condoms. Tried a fire and ice condom one time and it literally felt like my vagina was on fire. There was no ice. A very large peppermint stick that Santa left in my stocking. Santa was greatly amused, but never left another one. Burning. Gooey mess that was. Cervical cap. Diaphragm. Birth control is really awful. You can't remove it for 6 hours post sex. So if you're having a busy weekend you're gonna have that thing in your hoo hoo for days. Basically you're guaranteed a urinary tract infection. It's irritating and painful and there are just better ways to prevent pregnancy. A cucumber. I forget why but my ex and I were fooling around and he got a cucumber involved. A cold cucumber in your vajayj isn't nice. A long candle. I was 16 and frisky and was trying to figure out master bashan and was talking to a guy on AOL chat rooms. He said stick a candle up there. I did for 5 seconds and realized it hurt and it was a stupid idea. So this was back in my sophomore year of high school. I had been friends with this girl since grade 9. We were really alike so it was weird that we would be together. More of just a bromance. Anyways, she was holding a house party on March break. There were about 50 people there. She had left for about half an hour then called me to come upstairs. So I was like, okay must be anything bad. She had just finished having sex with some guy and the condom got lost in her area. Being a little too good of a friend I helped her find it. Yes, I had to use my fingers and a flashlight. And from there on we had never spoken of it again. She's still a great friend to me. A moon cup. I know a lot of women swear by them. But something went wrong with me and I had to have it. A uh, manually removed in A&E. The gynecologist's hand went and up to the wrist. There was so much blood. Never again. I've had a hysterectomy now. Thank God. My husband used to be crazy about my vagina because I lost my virginity to him. He would shove things inside me and then eat them. Most days it would be carrots, celery, or beets by Dre. Cheap condoms. I don't know what was the full difference between them and the brand name ones, but oh my god, they left me burning. Since women use literally everything to pleasure themselves, I'm sure this will have lots of interesting comments. Also, I never use those fire and ice condoms and I see people hate them. Thank you for sharing and I'm sorry for your experience. I had cooked with my boyfriend one night. 
he had been cutting jalapenos and after dinner we started getting hot and heavy. Well, he started fingering me and by the time we started having sex I realized my vagina was on fire. The rubbing was making the capsaicin burn in my worse. It was the most uncomfortable feeling. I ended up having to sit on some ice for a few minutes to make it stop burning. One time my ex had pepper spray on her fingers and did not wash her hands thoroughly enough before she proceeded to finger me. Worst pain I have ever felt. The first time I ever used a penetrative sex toy I didn't know that A. It shouldn't hurt and B. My vagina was fricked up and I basically tore the crap out of something down there and was bleeding heavily for a while until I managed to get it to stop. I thought it was normal so a while later I tried again but the same crap happened. Thought maybe it was the toy. Nope. Not the toy. Apparently I have vaginal stenosis and putting pretty much anything up there is a painful no go. I'm still freaking traumatized by the first time I ever did that and the Red Sea came out of my vagina. Apparently this thing runs in the family and when my mother found out she offered me her set of dilators. Basically medical dildos. Because in her words medical dilators are too expensive. And yet, yeah, they were used. I declined. I see hot. Didn't really put it up my vag. Did rub it on my face and instantly regretted it. Don't rub icy hot on your face. Nor in on your vag. I really don't want this up my vagina. I think my face will like it though. Ex-boyfriend had a messenger that the top part can be taken off and changed. When it had no top it was straight at the end. He convinced me to stick it in my vagina and then turn it on. One of the most painful things I've ever done. Not me, but heard a story about a girl nicknamed Corn Dog Charlie. Three guesses why. It defrosted and the breading came apart. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. for now.